Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Guys, it is getting quite weird and crazy in the My Hero Universe. And uh, to think that we would be watching some of the most forward people and pretty weird overall not all outgoing people trying to handle kids this week I would think it would end quickly <laughs> but of course we're gonna get another episode of it um, these are the types of things that definitely feel like either they're gonna play a role or it's just for the here and now and they really don't have much to do with the story at the end unless um, this show actually goes relatively far in the character's development in the case of like making them older and stuff like that because I can definitely see these kids becoming some of their fan like you know just watching their careers and then pretty much treating them like they did All Might but maybe not to as crazy extent because of the whole hero uh, symbol of peace talk this week with Endeavor was actually pretty interesting, um, or the most interesting thing that came out of this week's episode. That kind of doesn't make it feel like a filler. Uh, with getting Endeavor's, like, an expression of how he kind of scopes All Might, it really felt like the whole Vegeta-Goku conversation, where Vegeta just kind of had to accept that Goku was better than him and stronger for whatever reason, um, that's just, like, the vibe I got off of it, I, I can definitely see Bakugo doing this, or, uh, elaborating on it more, if he was in that situation where Deku was going in, I don't think much would have stopped Bakugo from destroying a lot of stuff, same with Todoroki, right, like, these are two people that are safe to say just a little bit, or, now a good bit under Deckoon, depending on how much he actually uh, gains and receives from this boost. Um, but from what I can understand is, just because he was capable of using all of his power, uh, when he was using the other ability to rewind his pain, pretty much, I don't think he gets, or I don't, we don't, we haven't heard anything about him getting an extra, like, boost or more uh, knowledge of how to control his power because think of it like that like he's never been able to go a hundred percent and hit somebody with all a hundred percent you know without being worried about what was going to happen and the repercussions so now that we've seen it you know where does that lead us in the in the future for holy crap that damage um for the end of the day right because not only has that kind of stretched my uh, expectation of just who could pop off at any given time in the case of if they want to keep these characters relatively close to Deckoon or do they want Deckoon to finally just flee the flee the flock and become you know the big like one and only hero which I could kind of see happening um, there's not a lot stopping Deckhoon, or there's not a lot of people we can say are even close to, you know, showing off something as what he did against Overhaul. Not to mention he's like one of the top, top villains for a reason as well, uh, with his abilities to pretty much touch and just destroy you, right? So, imagine getting in a full-blown fight where he's using every single thing in his power he can and when he was in the f ring with a UFC fighter practically a UFC cork wielding fighter the guy got absolutely obliterated every single time with looking like he didn't land anything right so someone who's trained in martial arts and has more uh, knowledge of it just naturally 
already has gotten bopped and proven that he wasn't a match for overhaul. So for Deku to just absolutely destroy that because guess what? He couldn't get touched throughout the whole entire fight by his actual hands or he would have been done in one go. And there's no reason for overhaul to hold back either, right? You know? So it's just one of those moments where he's gone against such uh, an like devastating enemy and such a crazy guy that could have done anything to him kind of like Bakugo escaping from all for one or like the league of villains when he had to it's it's a huge thing that someone like that like someone at his age is in a situation where uh, all hope seems lost but yet you pull something out and make it seem hopeful again by yourself without really as much help as others would need, you know, so that's something to take in, definitely look uh, at the growth, but yeah, with these kids and what they're going to show next week, it's going to be relatively interesting, like one of them shot a energy blast or something, uh, uh, excuse me, it was like a cannonball, and it already like ripped Bakugo's mask off looking like in the next episode, so uh, you keep pushing Bakugo to the limit, and you're gonna get an absolutely destroyed face. But it's funny that they're kids, so we're definitely gonna see some restraint and like some holding back by our characters. But at the same time, these kids don't seem like pushovers. And if anyone ever asked me if I wanted to live in a world where these guys live, no, thank you. You got kids out here with these weird uh, floating balls with teeth that if he just felt like it he can send that thing and send a whole bunch of those in your house while you're sleeping and let's see if you really escape it you know unless you got some exploding powers unless you got some freezing powers yeah, even Deku might get catch it because we even see in the preview someone sneaking on him and actually catches him sleeping so I don't know what's going on with my hero but I feel like there is a lot popping off. We have someone figuring out what the symbol of uh, peace is and endeavor in the second strong or the second ranked hero, and we have the most like best combat suited people without as much help, you know, from others, all going through training to still be in a position where they can actually help and they can actually do something instead of just being. Uh, classified as student heroes or something, or student, you know, volunteers. They can actually be on these other jobs that Deku got put on to go out and actually rescue people that are, you know, very important and stuff like that. So, we'll see how it all plays out. I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening. This episode was relatively good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, or let me know if you didn't really care for it, or whatever the case may be. But with all that being said, peace.